what you willing to prove Cause I ain't got nothing to lose It's true You mean the world to me Travel around the globe But I know that you the only girl for me And I gotta let you know She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine She likes no sense Today we are talking about shoes Shoes are difficult because there's only 400 million thousand options for one style of shoe. I, I don't know why and I don't like it either. There's different brands, different quality, different material, different heel height, different toe shape. But they all kind of look the same. <laughs> one pair of shoes can cost you anywhere between $100 to $1,000. <laughs> Excuse me. As a college student with very low income, I not only would rather spend $200 on some clothing, trying not to spend as much money has made me become a very Basic girl. Who likes basic things? In other words, I only own the essentials. And in this video, I'm going to show you what those essentials are and how to style the essentials. And then we're going to go on into uh, the rest of my collection. Like, well, like, why, why did I buy them? Like, you'll see later. I don't understand why I do things either. There is no shoe as superior as the all white sneaker. If you don't have all white sneakers in this day and age, honey, sweetie, what are you doing? It doesn't matter who you are, you need to go out and you need to buy a pair of white sneakers. These shoes are a simple way to casually dress down a dressy outfit by pairing them with like a dress or some type of dress pant or just to go with like any outfit. Jeans, shorts, skirts, shorts, skorts. I think I said skirts or shorts twice, I don't remember. If I could only have one pair of shoes, for the rest of my life, it'd be a white sneaker. They could be a really great investment piece as well. I would buy more expensive ones, but I can't afford that right now. I've had my Stan Smiths since grade nine, so it's been five years and they're still going strong. White sneakers, just do it. A favorite heel. It doesn't matter. Black, white, nude. Just make sure it's comfortable and a style that you like. Instead of spending like 60 bucks on a pair of very mediocre, poor quality heels, just get a pair that you really love and that you're gonna wear again and again and that won't break after 20 minutes of wearing them. You know, for heels, you just want to get the classics. Either a pointed toe, an open toe, a rounded toe, it doesn't matter. Just get one that you like and that you know will go with any outfit. It's for times that you know you want to look a little bit more put together or just taller. Finding the perfect heel is very hard. I haven't even found mine yet because I don't really have that many opportunities to wear heels except to like dinners with friends or dates by myself or not anything at all to be honest. But I like to style mine with jeans to dress up a casual outfit dress pants, you know, just to be a little bit more dressy, professional, or just dresses to be cute. Always an essential. Just get yourself a cute pair of heels and you'll be all set for life. Some fancy flats. Sometimes you want to look put together, you want to look professional, you want to look like you put a little bit of effort into your outfit, but you don't want your like toes to be like smooshed, you know, at the front of the heat. Yeah, you don't like the smooshed toe, so flats are your way to go. That was a rhyme. Ew. And you can literally wear these with any outfit. Some jeans, a white blouse, even some dresses. It makes it really cute. Denim shorts as well, just with a t-shirt. I highly recommend either white or black. It's just too risky to do anything else. They're amazing. If I'm going to be completely honest, when I was younger, I thought these were the most hideous things in the entire world. And then once I hit a certain age, I was like, actually, no, they're not ugly. I don't know why, I don't know who decided this, but they are just classics. Mine are fake, obviously, haha. <laughs> no one's surprised there. They're like dupes for the Gucci ones, and there are some really great dupes out there. Like you don't have to go out and spend like 800 bucks. You can go on Amazon, and honestly, there's some really great ones on there. But my knockoff Gucci mules are essentials in my wardrobe, and they should be essentials in yours too. I just think they're so preppy and comfortable and casual, very stylish and trendy. Honestly, they're just great and they go with anything. For example, just with some jeans to add a casual look, even put on a blazer, be really cute. Jeans and a white tee, you can never go wrong. Nothing is more classic, comfortable, easy, stylish, you know? But because they are fake, they probably will be breaking very soon. One day I will be able to afford the Gucci ones. Not today though or anytime soon. Warning, this may not be applicable if you have nice weather all year round. If that is you, I'm jealous and I do not like you. Kidding, I love you. 
my blunt stones. I would slip and break my elbows and my knees and my back if I didn't have these in the winter. Just a nice pair of winter boots. Highly recommend blunt stones. They have so many colors and options and styles and they keep your feet so freaking warm in the winter. They are not stylish, but that's not their purpose. Don't judge these based on their look. It's what's on the inside that matters and on the bottom because they're so grippy. They're so grippy. Basically, some girls can make these shoes look really good. This girl can't. That's just life. I can basically only wear these with leggings or skinny jeans, which I don't own. So these boots are a fashion struggle, but they protect my little toes from the snows. We're just rhyming like crazy today. They've saved my life and my feet many times. I call these fashion booties because I don't really know what they are. Now these are boots you can wear to be stylish and fashionable, unlike the other ones. So easily dresses up an outfit, makes you look fashionable, stylish, trendy, longer legged. Just makes you look like, you know, you know what you're doing, even though you really don't. I like to wear mine with skirts, with dresses, with pants, with jeans, literally anything. I'll find an excuse to wear these boots and they always make me look so much better than I would without them. I'd say for these like booties, go for black first. Well, I'd say ankle before knee high. Go for black before snake skin or neon or red. Just get black first, it'll never fail you. Next up we have me some gym shoes. I'm holding up many pairs, but you only need one. So a gym shoe depends on many things. Do you actually run? Are you an athlete? Or are you trying to be cute? Or are you trying to be comfortable? Or are you trying to be both? Do you have flat feet like me? So go to the sports store, go try on every single pair from every single brand and pick the one that's your favorite, the one that suits what you want, your fitness goals, your life goals, you, your shoe. Let me talk about my favorite running shoes, okay? Asics. These are the best running shoes if you actually want to run. Asics will not let you down. You literally can fight me, like actually fight me on this one. The support is ridiculous. It's just not a stylish shoe, okay? You will look like a mom. In the gym, outside the gym, on your way, walking from your car to the gym, you will look like that. You will look, yeah. A trendier running shoe, of course, are like any type of like Nikes, you know, Adidas. I have my Vapor Max. I have my Vapor Maxes in black and white. It's just a great multi-purpose shoe and they are so comfortable. If you're doing like high intensity stuff, don't get Vapor Maxes because like it feels like you're wearing a sock, you know, doing like squats or like weight exercises. Yeah, love doing squats in them. They're my squat shoe. Which I wear them casually too. You can wear them with dress pants, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them, don't wear them, I don't know, if you want to wear them with dresses, that may be weird. Honestly, that kind of wraps it up for my essentials. If I were to say to have one more, maybe like a pair of sandals in the summer, I don't really go anywhere. The only other thing I'm doing in the summer is walking my dog. I wear my slip-on bands for those, and those slip-on bands have been bitten to death by my dog. So I'm not going to hold them up for you because that's just gross, but my slip-on bands are also essential for me. Me. The one vans are just so comfortable, you know, highly recommend. So we've kind of moved out of the essentials and now into my uh, awkward shoe collection. Birkenstocks. Not the most fashionable shoe, not the sexiest shoe, but a very comfortable shoe. I wear these like on walks with my family or by myself or with my dog. Not stylish. Comfort. I hate these so much. They're Uggs. It's the first time I wore them and I slipped four times. Four. Like on my butt and my face. Because they have no grips. And never again have I worn them. Anyways, other than that, some people do love them. They look great in them. They style them really well. They don't slip and fall on their face and their butt. But for me, we're just not friends. We don't have the best relationship. Yeah, do you guys remember when like Toms were a thing? Yeah, me neither, but like, I think this is what these shoes are trying to be. They're, like Tom knockoffs that I bought in China. Yep. I probably need to throw these out. There's some type of Sperry and they're really gross and I need to stop holding them, but these ones were on sale. Now these I actually forgot I own. They're kinda, kinda trendy looking, yeah? I don't know, something about the shape just really speaks to me. Black and white is cool because you can do an all black outfit or you can do an all white outfit or you can do a mixture of black and white. 
very fancy, very funky. And honestly, they just go with everything. I haven't even worn them once, not because they're ugly, but because they don't fit their size too small. But if they did fit, these are weird shoes that I bought for work. Like I had a vision in mind when I bought these and I just don't think I bought the right kind. They're kind of like weird. Anyways, I bought them to go with like cute dresses or baggy pants and I bought them for work and they kind of look like mom heels. So I kind of regret these, but I'll find a place for them somewhere deep in the back of my closet. In high school, these were like the shit checkered bands. I don't know how I feel about these now. I would just wear them with anything in high school, but now I would probably style them with like ripped jeans or wide leg jeans or biker shorts would be cute. Not on me because I don't do the biker shorts thing, but even with like a silk skirt, that'd be pretty cute. But yeah, these served me well when I was in high school. They would smell really bad. I literally wish I was cool enough for these, but I'm not. I always see them styled on social media and they are so cute. It's like not trendy enough to wear them in real life, but I can wear them here and pretend like I know what I'm doing, so it's what I'm gonna do. I love when people do the girly, grungy look with these shoes. These shoes remind me of like a Brandy Melville vibe. I don't know if that's good or it's bad, but that's what it is. But yeah, I would style them totally with like ripped denim, or black denim is cool too, or with a skirt or some graphic tees. Wow, I could totally be a Visco girl. Or is it a Pinterest girl? You know what I mean, like, like, what is it? Visco girls. I could totally be a Visco girl. Next up, we have some real heels, like pump heels. These are pumps, right? I don't think people need these, to be honest. Pumps aren't even like necessary for like events and stuff. But if you do have these, honestly, they're pretty sexy. I think they look pretty cute, like dressed down or worn casually, like with a white blouse and some jeans or an all black outfit. Super chic and business professional vibes. Or like if you have a real job and you need to wear like shoes like this, you go girl. Your toes must freaking hurt though. Do you see this? Do you see this one? What is this by the way? Like why do I own a aggressively sparkly shoe? These shouldn't even exist. That's all I have to say. So some people style Jordans like super trendy and cute. I style them on the court. I was captain of the girls basketball team in high school and I bought these shoes. They bring back so many like painful, sweaty, aggressive memories from my time playing basketball very poorly. It was so bad, like I'm not good at basketball. I don't know what they were thinking. I'm going to keep them forever. Last but not least, these are just some CDGs that I bought and I've literally never worn either, but a black shoe can always be worn somehow. They are strangely shiny though. But yeah, I don't know, this is the last shoe. Hooray! Thank you all for joining me today for my video. As always, I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully in like a setting that's not as gross and stinky as this is right now. You have no idea how bad this smells. Yeah, okay. Bye everyone. <laughs>